Hi, Luna. Come here, say hi. Hi. Can you come back later? No? Okay. Okay. Hey. Thanks. I'm driving back home on this narrow county road when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this black cat runs in front of my car. What am I to do? I stop the car, I take my camera out of my pocket and I start taking photographs, of course. This is just one of the many examples of how carrying a camera, a small camera, always with me has improved my photography. It took me a while to realize about this, but you don't need to go to Iceland to make great images. Don't get me wrong, I would love to go there, I already had plane tickets, I already had hotels, everything was ready, but damn pandemic. I also realized that you don't need big and bulky cameras to make good images. In fact, many times they get on the way. There is nothing wrong with going to cool places or using more serious cameras. I do it as often as I can. But as photographers, I feel like we are focusing too much on photography trips and dismissing or neglecting the rest of our lives, 99% of our lives that are full with images to be made as well. Every morning I go for a walk. I can't tell you how many opportunities, how many images present themselves on those walks. For example, this other black cat, Rachel and I went on a walk a few days ago and we ran into this cat that started moving around. I think it needed a lot of love, but was too shy to ask for it. I took a few photos, he turned around, looked at me and opened his mouth and that's when I made this image that I really like. It's not my best image by any measure, but I enjoy it, I like it. And it's an image that I would have never made if I didn't have a camera with me at that moment. Having a camera makes me a 24-7 photographer. You see, photography is all about timing. We can't be everywhere at the same time, but if we have a camera with us, if we are always ready to make an image, then we can take advantage of the present moment and whatever we are and whatever we are doing. After all, the chances of making a great image if we don't have a camera with us are pretty much zero. This is another good example. I saw this couple of swans on the river on my way back home from the grocery store. I took my camera out and I made this image while I was still holding the groceries on the other hand. Having a camera with me at all times also means that I shoot more often and like everything in life, the more you practice, the better you get at it. And photography is no exception here. Because a small camera draws less attention, they are also ideal to go to touristic spots or places where regular cameras are not allowed. I loved using these cameras in Venice, for example. It was very busy, the streets were full of people, but I felt like I wasn't bothering anyone using this small camera and it was also easier for me to move around with this small camera instead of a big camera with a big lens. The best thing is that they are still very capable cameras and I can do 99% of the things that I can do with my bigger cameras. You might remember that during my last road trip through Germany, Austria and Italy, I only brought my compact cameras and I was able to do long exposures, night photography, anything I wanted, anything I needed to do. They are also very, very useful for long hikes, like during my 130 mile hike at the uh, Camino. This one, the, Mark, the RX100 Mark VII, was the only camera I had for photography. I brought along the uh, GoPro for video because the weather was not <laughs> the best. But yeah, for photography, I only used this camera and it was amazing, super lightweight and always ready there uh, to capture the scene. Of course, it doesn't have to be an RX100, Fuji has cameras, Ricoh has good cameras, Canon has the G7X and that kind of series. Any camera that you can fit in your pocket or in your jacket or your purse or your bag, any camera that you can bring with you most of the time will help you improve your photography much more than a DSLR or bigger sensors. Actually, if you are just getting started in photography, that's what I would recommend. I would recommend to buy a compact camera that you can have always with you so you can practice at home, out with family, or on, the, on your way to the grocery store at any time so you can get better and improve your photography. And then you'll have time to upgrade to a bigger camera. That's all I wanted to share today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.